Wendy Lang, our Director of Human Resources, is not able to join us tonight because she is putting together the meeting materials for our <coughs> meeting tomorrow. It begins at 7 a.m. It is the first phase of interviews for the county manager recruitment process. If you're interested in that, um, that will be in the Board of Commissioners Chambers in the Historic Courthouse Building, and that meeting begins at 7 a.m. tomorrow. If you want to learn more about the candidates um, who may be considered for county manager. Uh, so organizational sustainability, we could not do any of these strategic objectives if we did not have properly uh, trained staff in place and uh, policies and procedures related to personnel for our organization. This is what this objective is about. Uh, these are the initiatives currently within the plan, and you'll note they're either on target or achieved, and I'll go into them in more detail on the next slide. Uh, the first is we have aligned our performance standards to organizational values. What this means is, is we've revamped how we evaluate our staff. Previously, staff were evaluated on their job description, basically each of the elements of their job description. And what we noted is, if they're not doing the elements in their job description, perhaps they shouldn't have a job. Um, maybe we should be looking at evaluating them in a way that is consistent across the organization and promotes um, the values of our organization, which are contained on that two-page document that you have with you, and tie back to the county strategic plan. So we're all rowing the boat in the same direction. Uh, so we just completed that process and implemented training to make sure that our supervisors and managers all understand the purpose for the revision to how we evaluate our staff. We also implemented a 0 to 3% merit range. Um, this was decreased previously from a uh, 0 to 6% range. Uh, so there is now currently a 0 to 3% and then also um, we look at cost of living adjustments uh, that correlate to what is going on in the market um, and with our economy. Uh, this system, uh, the reason the board uh, pushed us going in this direction is to make sure uh, that we are consistent with what's going on with the economy and that we don't have merit increases that are exceeding you know, what, what's going on with the market, that it's more in line with and more sustainable financially for our organization moving forward. Uh, the last bullet is we have created a supervisory management program, and I am very proud to say, and Wendy would tell you, uh, she's proud to say, um, that when we say created, we really mean we stole UNR's program. <laughs> <laughs> so we have partnered with the University of Nevada, Reno, to provide um, supervisory management courses to our department heads behind you. The first course um, is going to be taking place, the inaugural class will begin uh, their training in September. Um, the idea of all of the instructors for these courses are from UNR. Uh, they're either industry experts or professionals uh, in the field to help us train in supervisory management and again help us get that boat, all of us growing in the same direction. Uh, we Moving forward into the next fiscal year, we're going to be continuing an ongoing performance discussions with our department heads as part of that supervisory management training. I mentioned we're starting those courses in September and hope to have that first phase of that class completed by the end of this fiscal year. Um, we also um, are intending from that first class to utilize the feedback from the department heads behind you uh, to um, better refine the program and then put future supervisors and managers in our organization through it as well so that we create uh, consistency throughout our organization with all of our supervisors and managers. Uh, new initiatives for the coming year, we are going to be looking at our IT infrastructure, meeting with our stakeholders, our department heads, finding out what their needs are and uh, revising the IT strategic plan as part of that in discussions with the board as part of the budget planning process. Uh, we will also be potentially implementing an awareness campaign, and what this is about is um, uh, sharing with the community what exact services Douglas County provides to the community, what our staff does, and what we highlighting what we do well. Uh, service excellence is the flip side of that. So, talking about what we do well, we also need to examine areas for improvement. So, the service excellence program is targeted at. Uh, providing additional training to supervisors and management teams so that we can look at areas for increasing efficiency and um, uh, creating consistency with our customer service and increasing customer service throughout our organization. We want to make this a priority uh, for the coming years. And that's all. Okay. Yeah. All right.